the story begins with three young mates willing to help the motherland and join the AIF. So off they go to see Captain Henderson and Lieutenant Dillon at the enlistment office. First one tries his luck. Captain Henderson examines the paper. No thank you son. But up comes our second candidate to try his luck. Captain Henderson looks at the papers once again. No thank you son, you're way too young. Will the last of our trio have any luck? Let's see. It's a no from Captain Henderson. Oh dear, what will our boys do? They're all too young. But they want to go, they want to help. Ah, an idea. I know. Let's pretend we're older and go to a different enlistment office. We'll get in for sure. Let's go, boys. Captain Henderson looks at the papers. Looks at the young man. He is happy. Sign here, young fellow. And welcome to the first AIF. Congratulations. And now a second young candidate steps up. Boy, oh boy, hasn't he got a set of hair on that chinny chin chin. Captain Henderson looks happy. Sign him, young man, and welcome to the AIF. And now it's our last member of the trio. Will he get past Captain Henderson's scrutiny of his papers? Mm, they look good. And boy, hasn't he matured. Welcome to the AIF, young man. Egypt is a long way from WA, but this is where our friends find themselves training hard to become soldiers. Here we see them on the parade ground with Lieutenant Dillon. Oh, nice salute, Lieutenant. And now it's time for their weapons to be issued. The Lee Enfield rifle. A good soldier can shoot 15 rounds in a minute. Come on boys, pick up the weapon and answer the call. The training is now over. It's the 25th of April, 1915. And our boys have jumped in their boats and heading towards the beaches of Gallipoli in the Dardanelles. It's about 4.30 in the morning. It's dark, but it's a beautiful night. Contact boys, let's go. Come on, into the water. And still more soldiers pile out of their boats into the water they wade, trying to make it towards the beaches. Finally the boys make the beach and take aim, led on by Lieutenant Dillon. They sprint across the open beach, dodging bullets and shells from the Turkish high up in the hills. Onwards they run, past fallen comrades, as the Turkish shell them. The battle rages, neither side willing to give, neither side willing to yield. Machine guns fire, cannons blast, and death follows. The battle becomes a stalemate, and so the soldiers dig in and make the cove their new home. The boys settle into their trenches, playing cards, making grenades out of old jam tins. This helps fill in their time. A common problem is the rat. It is everywhere in the trenches. Water's scarce and not very pure. The guys feed on very strict rations. It is a life of real hardship. To save their heads being shot, the boys devise a periscope rifle. Here the spotter looks as Lieutenant Dillon fires at the enemy. After eight long, hard months, it's now time to leave. And leave they do. It soon becomes the most successful part of the campaign. Not a digger is lost as they return home, away from the shores of Gallipoli.